Hello, my lovely Earth Signs. Thank you for tuning into your weekly reading. This is going to be a collective message for Taurus, Cappy, and Virgo. And we'll see what the weekly predictions are for you in this fresh new week. So, um, really appreciate you being here with me. Um, we'll see what the cards can reveal in regards to your week ahead, can be in relation to anything. Before I begin, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, and if you were after a private reading, you can email me. Um, I am currently accepting those. For membership, please feel free to click on the join button. Um, otherwise, let's let's see what's going on here. Um, weekly weekly message for Earth signs. Okay. Hmm. I feel like there is some. Um, I want to say it's a, a, a water sign. Um, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I feel like there is a chapter that's been unresolved. Um, okay, communications reversed. Okay, we've got the the Hermit, but he's reversed. Virgo energy is reversed. So. Um, I feel like you're there's 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 a situation here where you're wanting to back out or someone's been a bit distant. I get that communication is not as effective as it once was, so I feel like that's sort of thrown you off a bit. Um, Earth signs. I feel like someone is not ready to talk yet. There's a new chapter here for you. I feel like there is a new energy coming in. Um, but before I go into that new energy. King and Queen are both reversed. This is both fire sign energy. So Aries, Sag, Leo, or someone that you're like super attracted to. This is a lust connection rather than love. Um, but it's both reversed. So you're both not doing too well. Okay, you're both... Okay, you're both not, I'm getting your, you in a love connection. You're both not doing too well and you're both being drowned down or like tied down by your subconscious. We've got this Pisces link. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Pisces, but Pisces is coming up around your connection. So it's very dual, but I get there's a lot of emotion and both of you are really sensitive and really emotional towards each other uh, during this week. I'm getting that you're both, you're, you're being dragged down somehow. I'm getting dragged down. I don't know if it's people putting you down or people saying things that are making you feel more emotional or because you're already in a mood and then someone comes along and says something, you're like, wow, okay. And it just makes you feel really low and even deeper. Like you're like, what is going on? So just be careful of that because, you know, they might not have ill intention, but I feel like the, the mood or the attitude that you're in could be sort of heightening that. But I do get like you and a connection is not doing too well. You you do have the Empress here. Um, and we've got a baby. So I, I don't know if this is a pregnancy thing. If a child, this is like someone who has children. Or like this is things around the family home. But there's there could be some, some things going on here. We've got the black cat. So I get superstition and paranoia. Um... Is, is coming up for you as well. So there might be periods where you think, you know, but I, I honestly think it's your mind that's playing tricks on you here. And I get that if you're not communicating, you're assuming, okay? Some of you are assuming rather than asking and knowing. And I do that all the time. I'm so guilty of that. Like I assume everything. Um, I assume like I know everything. It's just such a know-it-all Gemini kind of energy. Um, but yeah, sometimes it's okay to be wrong. Sometimes it's okay to ask questions. So maybe this applies to you. Virgo's energy is not is is reversed. So you're not communicating. You're assuming. Four of Cups can be an epiphany. So I don't know. Maybe you're having an epiphany here that there's someone's energy 
every time they talk to you, they bring you down or they're a bit of an energy vampire. I don't know, something's happening here. What I do love is that you do have this Ace of Cups, so I feel like there is a new beginning. Um, it can be with a water sign or it can be in regards to emotions. So that's really special. Um, I feel like it's an opportunity to sort of get things off your chest. And it could be for your person as well. It's an emotional new beginning um, and it's putting you on a path here. I feel like that Empress is bringing that in uh, for you as well. Okay, things hang in the balance is what I'm getting. So it's a very crucial or critical time. Or you're treating it as if it's a very crucial or critical time. Virgo and Pisces, you might be dealing with one of these signs. Um, King of Wands, Queen of Wands reversed. You're both not taking action though. I get that it's a bit of a limbo phase here, guys. It's like... You're both not doing anything. You're both not speaking. You're both not taking action. You're both feeling crummy when you don't have to, when you could change the situation. I feel like you do have the power to change the situation. And it's with a conversation. Something to sort of break the ice, something to get things going, I reckon, is, is going to turn things around here for you. And I don't know, It's I feel like you like have a spiritual moment. I, it could be connected to this epiphany that I'm seeing. It's like a really spiritual moment that you have about this person. It's a very emotional moment. I don't know if it's like you sort of like crying it out or you sort of getting this wonderful hope from the universe um, or you finally realizing, I don't want to feel this way anymore. So I'm going to change my situation. I'm going to be proactive about it. I see you have the power to turn things around. And for a long time, you haven't done anything about it, Earth Signs. You've sort of sat back and watched how things play out. You know, you haven't taken the initiative. Queen and King of uh, Wands are both reversed. It's all about taking action, but it's reversed here. So what would happen if we turn these babies around? You know, what a difference it could make to your situation uh, for the both of you. Okay, if you're wondering if this person is looking for other people, I don't think so. So if you're wondering if someone has moved on, I feel like I need to tell you they haven't. I feel like I need to tell you they're emotionally still invested in you. And I'm, I I definitely feel as someone hopeful that you will be back together. The Empress is here and she's holding a baby. So there is this person, this energy wants a family with you. They want to settle down with you. That's the ultimate goal for them. But right now, it's just I feel like you're both sort of wasting time being angry at each other or being upset. You know, you need to... You need to swim through that. You need to work your way through that earth signs. It's the only way forward, I think, um, this week. I'm going to leave it there, everyone. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. Um, I hope it is action-packed. We will reverse those, um, that fire couple and uh, hopefully we'll be in touch soon. Bye for now.